Okay, Vegas Dice Controller coming back at you. My crap's bit in Las Vegas. So a couple things after watching the last video. One of the things that I did was in the process of doing, laying out the, the calls for the, for the decisions, I actually uh, didn't pay attention to where I was on my dice set as far as my single pitch and double pitch go. But again, I just want to reiterate, there are 20 possible outcomes with dice faces. You have the four, here's a 3V set. Okay, then you have a single pitch of your left die, and that's gonna give you a nine, a six, a five, an eight. Then you have a double pitch of your left die, and you're gonna have a four, three, seven, a one, two, three, a three, four, seven, and a six, five, yo. You set the 3V back up, and you single pitch, and you're gonna get a three, two, five, a six, four, 10, a four, four, five, nine, a one, four, three, and a three, two, five. Did I already say that? I think I already did. Yeah, I already said that. And then a double pitch, you're gonna get a three, four, seven, six, five, yo, four, three, seven, one, two, three. Okay. With that said, it was actually three sixes and three eights, and I think I might have said two and two, and I was wrong on that. So one of the things I noticed about doing these videos is uh, you get caught up into your mechanics of the video and you tend to make mistakes and I and uh, I did in the very first video so okay with that said I want to talk about um, uh, and then another thing I want to do is when I'm laying out the numbers I was putting the chips all on top of each other the viewers could not tell how many four there were so I'm gonna lay them out like this so you can tell that there's four fours etc okay all right with that said I was watching a video tonight after the uh, Craps Nation um, live uh, Wednesday night shoot around. Um, a video by King Dice happened to come up right after for some reason, and uh, it was kind of ironic. And I'm watching this thing, and he was talking about the seven, and I'm not here to bash the guy first, so I wanted to say he was talking about the seven and count, not counting the seven, and a bunch of people are out there counting the seven, come out seven, not counting the come out seven, and only counting the seven outs. I think he was making reference to some of the Craps Nation guys based off of his comments. Um, I know we do count, we all count the come out sevens towards our seven to roll ratio, and we count our SOR, our seven out ratio, a little bit differently. That's gonna give us an outcome from the, from the, from the point I mean, after the come out, we're all on. So um, if we don't throw a come out seven, it's giving us a different number knowing what we have potentially to hit for box numbers. Okay, the other thing he said was a seven is a seven is a seven, a seven is a loser, as he called it. And he talked about seven being bad and this and that and come out sevens being bad. And I'm sitting there just shaking my head thinking, wow. And this guy's out there making videos and people are watching him. And uh, anyway, again, I'm not here to bash anybody, but I'm here to speak what I feel is the truth. And I'm going to call spade a spade, but the come out roll is one of the strongest bets you can make on the come out table. There's so many options you have at hand to take advantage of. For example, if you were to pick a set out that had the highest number of sevens and horn numbers, you could exploit the pass line if you're shooting the dice, play the horns, play the seven, lay the back wall, all for minimal risk. So you said, what do you mean by that BGC? Well, I'll give me an example. Let's say I was to lay 30, 30. Now I'm putting them here so the viewers can see. I would select every number here, four through 10. The VIG is gonna be $6. It's gonna be dollar, dollar for each number. Some of the casinos will not charge you on the four and 10. They'll only charge you on the five through nine and you'll pay the four and 10 after the win, after the decision. Okay, so you got 186 laid out. There is an option to give an additional $4 and hop the hard ways. And if you were to throw a hard four, six, eight, or 10, instead of losing $31, if the 10 was to hit, if the hard 10 was to hit, you're gonna lose this $31 and you're 
and you'll take all this and have the dealer bring you down and your risk your risk is only $31. If you hop the hard ways, it's 30, it's 31 plus the four. However, if you hit $35 risk, if you hit a hard 10 or a hard eight or a hard six or a hard four, you do not lose the $31. You get that money back because it pays, the payoff is at 31 to one. So you're gonna get your $31 back, okay? All right, with that said, Let's, let's move on to looking at this bet a little bit further in detail. If you can master, and I can't emphasize this enough for the Craps Nation guys and anybody who is a dice influencer, that you should be trying all you can to master the come out roll, master throwing sevens and horn numbers, because you can make a bet on the table where you're playing the horn, and you're playing the sevens and laying the back wall, all for minimal risk. And, and every time you lay the back wall here, four through 10 for $180 and it wins, you are gonna win 120 and down, or if you stay up, you have to repay the $6 VIG, so you're netting 114, okay? You throw three sevens in a row, King Dice is gonna make $30 on his $10 pass line, and you're gonna be netting 360. You both, and the only risk you're really giving up is $31. You're giving up a $31 risk, that's it. So, not sure what he's talking about there, but, so you could come in, you could do a $6 horn, okay? Let me get this right here. $6 horn and a $6 three-way red. Say you throw the 11, okay? They're gonna make the payout. You are now gonna advance that bet up to $15 horn and $15 seven. So your $12 now has got $30 to potentially make money. Let's say you throw a five, two, seven. You're gonna win $120 and this bet now is gonna advance up and you're gonna do a $30 horn and a $30 seven. See how this is working, how it's doubling up? Six, we got $6 here, we got, right? And we have, we got three, well, the chips are, we have three chips of stacks of two, three ch chips of stacks of three, and six chips of stack, so you got six chips here. So it's gonna go, Right, it's gonna go, hope it's not too confusing because th there's another way I do it, but I can't show it. But nonetheless, and then you're gonna advance, you're gonna do the same exact thing with green chips. If this bet was to continue, I've done eight in a row a couple of times, you are now gonna advance up and you're gonna go back to doing, working like this and you're gonna do, you're gonna move up to doing, like 60 and 60, okay? And the next one's gonna go up, et cetera. That's gonna double, and then it's gonna turn to black chips. So if you can, if you, for a $12 risk, and you can throw five in a row, starting at $12, you look to make $1,000. And how many sevens can you, can you pull out of that? Maybe you get three out of five. Maybe you get three out of six. You get two out of six. If you can pull out three, you're looking at $360 plus a thousand here, you got $1360. Your pass line might win, some of those might lose, you might have some ace deuce, you might have a 12, etc. So you have to get good at throwing come out sevens and horn numbers, and you have to figure out what set is gonna help you get there. That's very important. So with that said, we're gonna talk about a set today that's potentially can make you hundreds or thousands of dollars. I'm gonna to try to give you some value here and create some value for y'all. And you know, I don't wanna waste your time and I don't wanna waste my time, but, so this is the bet that I, I make in the casino every time I'm, I shoot the dice, 
Okay, I lay the back wall. Now, what set I use and what set you use, it doesn't matter. As long as you can figure it out, what it takes for you as a par shooter, if you shoot par or a Little Joe shooter or a Magic shooter or a Dr. Z shooter or what have you, whatever shot you're using, you need to figure out what it takes to throw sevens and horns. And you're gonna play that combination and you're gonna full press, full press, full press, full press. You're going, it's not quite a full press once you get past the first three, you're taking money back. But you're looking to hit five or six of these in a row. You're, you're willing to risk 12 bucks to make a thousand. That's the goal, okay? That'll be a topic for another day on how to do that. But I wanna show you a set that y'all can work on. And uh, you may not like giving up $31 on the come out roll. To me, it, it's well worth it. I played about, I think it was a month ago or so. I think it was when King AZ was making the video with Bird Dog at the Plaza. Uh, me and East Coast Clay and CDC were on a table <clears throat> and I was banging out and I was doing this. I was doing this exactly what I'm doing right here. I laid the back wall for 180 and I did my, I did my horn seven combination and I hit like four in a row. Or I hit three in a row, then I missed, then I then I missed one, and I came back and hit another three in a row. Nonetheless, I'm making 120 bucks a pop. 120 bucks a pop plus my pass line. I'm stacking them, don't racking them. I'm taking advantage of back-to-back -back sevens and elevens. And if I lose two or three, three craps, I start all over on my pass line and, and, and build back up. But I'm gonna show you a set today that uh, that has 14 combinations of horns and sevens. Now there's only there's only two sets out there that'll give you 14 combinations. And one of them is gonna, one of them's gonna have be strong on the eights. So if it misses, it misses to the eight, more, more likely than not, six or an eight. I'm sorry, not, a, not an eight, a six or an eight. Um, but there's one, there's another one that I really like. And it's the six two, six two set. For you par shooters, you need to master this. And it's, you're gonna look at it and say, oh, it's like that's just a straight six set. Well, it's more than just a straight six set because that's a straight six set too. And that straight six set there transfers sevens to horns a little bit differently. And uh, I believe it gives you six sevens and six horns where the six two, six two set, this one, six two, six two, is gonna give you eight sevens and six horns. So eight and six, last time I checked is 14. And it's gonna give you four combinations of six and eights. So that's 18. And it's gonna give you two combinations of fours and tens and that's 20. So guess what? There is one number that it, it's not gonna give you unless you come off axis and you yet yaw and you hit it perfectly and that's a nine. So instead of putting 180 across every number for a $31 risk, yes, if it misses to a box number, you lose 31 bucks. However, if you put that all that money on lay the nine, and you hit any number, two, three, four, five, six, eight, 10, 11, 12, or seven, you are not losing this. You're gonna, obviously you're gonna win it on a seven, but if you hit a 10, an eight, a six, a five, or a four box number, you are not giving back $31. So this is a strong bet, laying the nine with this set, okay? So here's a combination it's gonna give you. If you want, you can write this down. Um, we're gonna say we're laying the nine here, okay? It's gonna give you a 12, hard 10, aces, and four. It's gonna give you a 12, Hard 10, hard four, aces. We're gonna take the left eye and single pitch. It's gonna give you a six, five, yo, a six, a three, and an eight. So we got a three, six, eight, yo. We're gonna double pitch the left eye, and it's gonna give us a one, six, seven, a five, two, seven, a six, one, seven, and a five, two, seven. It's gonna give us two, six, ones, two, five, twos, okay? All right. Now we're gonna set it back up, straight sixes. Single pitch, the right die. And we have an 11, a six, a three, and an eight. 11, a six, three, and an eight, okay? Now we're gonna set it back up. We're gonna double pitch the right die. It's gonna give us a six, one, seven, a five, two, seven, a one, six, seven, and a two, five, seven. 
It's gonna give us back to those sevens again. Oh, where'd my other one go? Missing one. Okay, so if you count all that up, you got eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. See that combination? So you have three horns, that's six horns, and you have eight sevens. That's 14 combinations of your 20 are in payout numbers for the pass line. So you could take that bet, that $12 risk, and go for it and put it at risk. And if you lose, you lose 12 bucks. Now, obviously, if you have $100 buy-in, you're not going to want to do this with $100 buy-in. This, I do this with a minimum of, you know, you can reduce that down to smaller numbers to so $6 risk overall. You don't have to do 12. You can start lower. I start higher because I want to get to the fifth. The fifth level will make me $1,000. I don't have to get to six. Um, a few of the guys see me do it over at the Cromwell just uh, about two summers ago. Um, and one at one point, I pushed out a little bit, and instead of making that 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 uh, bet that would have paid me $1,000, I rolled the next three and hit it and got a $500 payout three times. And uh, so that was nice. Um, anyway, so get good at this set, fellas. 6-2, um, 6-2. Six two, six two. It's, it's not this straight six set. That's gonna give you two less sevens and two more horns. So, uh, and that's gonna change the 6-8 combination as well. Uh, okay, uh, hopefully I gave you a tidbit. If you liked the video, please uh, get the thumbs up and hit the subscribe button and uh, hit the bell notification so you're notified if I uh, make more of these. I'm gonna, try to, I'm gonna try to go over my whole sheet here. I got like 50 sets. I'm gonna try to give you, um, give you some good value to this where you can immediately take it out once you master this and start making money. Again, back with this set, you can lay this nine here and make make 120 bucks a pop. Again, if you throw those sevens and you're laying that nine and you get two sevens, I would press this to 360. Go up a full press after two collections of 120. Uh, go back, go to 360, and now you're making $240 every seven. Okay, so every two sevens, if you're throwing that, that shot I just showed you, and you throw a seven, then you throw an 11, and then you throw a seven, and then you throw a three craps, you hit the seven twice. Now advance it up to 360. Okay, remember your risk is only, well, the risk is gonna be 360 on this. That, that's the downside. If you throw the nine, if you throw the nine, and you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to yaw this dice like this, so throw the nine and keep this perfect um, down there, you know, um, and that's keeping it perfect. I and mean, obviously if this dice spins one rotation in single, you have an eight, but you know, you're only gonna make a five, four or a six, three. So it's gonna have to go this way or this way for the nine, okay? So, um, with that said, you know, try to go this way and this way to hit the nine. Uh, pick your poison. You can, um, I've done it both ways. Sometimes um, I don't want to piss the dealers off and have them have to set, if I get the bet, get bet in a tad late and they have to set six bets up at $30 a piece, 180, I, sometimes I just give them 200 and say lay the, or 240 and say lay the four and 10, or four or the 10, whatever one I feel is lost. And that's another good one to do is you can, if you have a number that's not rolling and it, it's obviously lost, it's lost for a reason, and that's a topic for another day, we can get into why that number's lost. But say that number is the five and it's just not rolling and you have three fives and a hundred rolls, I would be putting all my money on the lay five on that particular sequence of bets. Once that point is set, that comes down, obviously that five might roll again, but for that short cycle, I'm gonna use that number that's not rolling. It's very important to use your dominant lot losing your dominant loss number, the number that's not rolling, to use that as your hedge. And we'll get into some more of that later, but that's it right now, folks. Uh, I want to keep this as short as possible and don't want to bore you at all, but I want to put this out there for you guys to practice at home and, and go from there. Okay, so hopefully uh, you got something out of this video. If you did, hit the like and subscribe button. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Hope we can get more of these uh, out on the market for you. All right, peace, good luck.